Yo, what up everyone? It's your boy SLC. So currently, I'm gonna let you do this YouTube video while I'm live streaming on Apex. I'm literally live streaming on Apex right now. Look at this. Literally live streaming on Apex, if y'all can see. That red dot right there, it means I'm live. I'm literally live streaming on Apex while doing this YouTube video. I really want to take a break from um, my live stream. It's still going on, so. Literally, while making this YouTube video, my YouTube live is going on in my Apex. But I want to make this video because I'm going to explain to anyone out there. So I, my aspirations, right, to perform at Coachella. And for my audience that has been following me, you guys know that a lot of my content is about Coachella. Today, I had the realization of breaking down the plan and actually executing, right? So for all of those rising artist out there that want to perform at Coachella if we chunk it down there's a blueprint and it's actually not that complex to perform at Coachella is it is it um easy no is it simple yes really think about it is all I need to do is pop off right now like on YouTube or whatever the case may be funnel all my audience to my Patreon so I can get hella money right then when I get rich, um, at least 25K, I can get an LLC for my record label, right? Then I can, um, then in the meantime, right, I, I need to find a full-time producer, right? And I'll just pay him however much money I, that I have at that point. And all we are doing is just producing, producing, producing fire. Just literally producing, 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 producing. Literally never out of the studio. Studio 12 hours a day, studio 14 hours a day, or whatever, studio, 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 studio. Just the producer, literally, I'm just, we're literally just in the studio 14, 16, 18 hours a day, just producing, right? Then finally, once our music gets on the radio, then we're able to, you know, hire backup dancers and begin the audition process, right? Then we're able to find band, like a, a, a band, you know, literally a band. I'll probably outreach to like a famous band or whatever because at that point I probably will be more established well I will be more established right my LLC will be established all this different stuff that finding a band will be applicable right backup dancers so we have to begin the audition process for backup dancers for the band right hire a professional band then I need I need a team for my merch right I need a merch team merchandise team um, they're the ones that when you walk in like to a venue, they're the ones selling all the merch. Then I need a stage crew, right? So that'll probably be with like the app Indeed. That'll probably be like, uh, you know, with ZipRecruiter. That'll probably be with, you know, finding um, stage crew, like maybe through, there's Indeed, there's ZipRecruiter. There are other apps out there that I can find uh, employees, right, for the stage crew. So audition process for the backup dancers, right? Then we need uh, the band. Then we need the people in charge of the merch, you know? For me personally, right, if I'm performing at EDC, right? If, if I'm ever gonna perform at EDC, like, I want people to enjoy, because EDC is known for people using su uh, substances. What I wanna bring to EDC is not illegally doing substances, where it's like, I actually wanna have a station at EDC where if you bring like your 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 state ID, if you're 21 and older, if you bring your state ID and you get verified, you can actually purchase um, regulated substances at like a station that I would, um, you know, be the CEO of, like a franchised kind of substance um, situation. And then at that point for EDC, the people that are distributing the merch, right? It's gonna be sort of like that same team that's just distributing the merch, right? And I wanna sell food at my concerts, right? I don't want anyone hungry at my concerts, right? So, you know, sandwiches, hot dogs, all that different stuff. So that my my team that is in charge of the merch, they're also in charge of the food. So they're in charge of food, they're in charge of the merch, they're in charge of <laughs> distributing the regulated substances, right? Because if I'm performing at EDC, I want y'all to uh, enjoy EDC the way that I want y'all to enjoy EDC, right? And so with that being said, with a team, right, for the dance uh, dance crew, right, then the band crew, then the merch slash food crew, slash substance crew, right? And then finally, um, 
what is it? What, what was it? It was the dance crew. Oh, finally the stage crew, right? So the dance crew, the band crew, the food slash merch slash substance crew, and then finally the stage crew. So for performing Coachella, it's simple, not easy, right? And so with that being said, that is literally, that's literally all you need. <laughs> that's literally all you need to perform at Coachella is a dance crew, a band crew, a food slash merch slash substance crew, and then the stage crew. That's literally all you need to perform at Coachella, right? So if anyone out there, any aspiring artist, or if you already are an established artist and you're gonna watch my video, like, Take some pointers, you know, take, this is, this is, this is for y'all, this is for me, whoever wants to perform at Coachella and beyond that, right, EDC, big venues, big concerts, like, take notes, guys. For all my aspiring artists out there, people that are watching this video, performing as a big-time artist actually is not that difficult. You only need those four components. There's a dance crew, a band crew, um, food slash merch slash substance crew, and a stage crew. That's, like, all you need, right? And then to get to that point, Right, the actual blueprint to get to that point, like I said, I'm gonna post hella content on my YouTube, post hella content on my Patreon, make hella money off of those platforms. Then, once I get to 25k, make my LLC, right? Make my record label. Then I can just write off everything as a tax write off, right? Whenever I eat lunch, oh, it's a business meeting, right? And so, with that being said, it's working in reverse. People think, oh, you got to go through all this hardship da, 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 to get to Coachella. No, it's to reverse engineer. That's literally what I did. That's literally what I did in this video. I reversed engineer how to perform at Coachella. And the reason why it's important is Coachella is the avenue to do whatever I want. After that first performance, I can do whatever I want after that point. Because rapping is that outlet, right? Music is that outlet. Then, because I, I'm able to do whatever I want at that point, why I say I will be able to do whatever I want is because people will know my name. I will be able to have attention and then move and move my attention towards things that are important, right? Philanthropy work, raising money for things that are important, right? And so why I'm explaining this is with the idea of Coachella and why it is the avenue for everything that I want is because I know that after I perform just one performance of Coachella, everything else opens up. I can begin to do a world tour, right? And I can begin to, I can begin to do a world tour. I can begin to do, um, like I said, EDC concerts, right? I can do bigger shows, bigger, better shows, right? And the reason why I say Coachella is that avenue is because now, boom, you're on the map, right? So, boom, right after Coachella, now I can really take huge strides. Concerts in different countries every other month. Con uh, country, different country. I'm an, I'm an, I want to travel. I want to be doing concerts in a different country every other month, right? I want to be in a different country every other month. You know what I'm saying? Singapore, Japan, Australia, London, the, the UK, where else? Where else is there? Costa Rica. I want to travel the world, right? China, Bali, Indonesia, Florida, you know, all these other places in the sense that why say Coachella is the avenue is because after that performance, then we can begin to do the world tour, right? Then we can begin to pop off even more, right? And then, of course, if that's the case, think about it. You perform at Coachella once, you can perform at Coachella again, and then again, and then again, and then again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Because if you've done it once, you can do it again, right? And so everyone, my name is SLC, and this video definitely helps.